Hi, boys and girls. Miss Angela and Miss Franny planned a really fun lesson for you today about one of your favorite things, rainbows. You know the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Well, have some fun learning a little more today. Here's Miss Angela reading you a special book. Hi guys, the book that we're going to read today is by Dr. Seuss. Oops, it's upside down. It's called My Many Colored Days. It's by Dr. Seuss. And there are two people that helped with the pictures on this. So usually when they draw the pictures, we call them illustrators. But in this book, they painted the pictures. So it says, painted by, and their names are Steve Johnson and Lou Fancher. They're the ones who helped Dr. Seuss with this book. There's so many colors in here. I wonder what's your favorite color? Let's see. There's the title page. It says the name of the story again. My Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. Some days are yellow, some are blue. On different days, I'm different too. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days. On bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. Other days, I'm other things. On bright blue days, I flap my wings. Some days, of course, feel sort of brown. Then I feel slow and low, low down. Look at the bear sleeping. Maybe he's still hibernating. Then comes the yellow day and wee! I'm a busy, buzzy bee. Gray day, everything is gray. I watch, but nothing moves today. Then all of a sudden I'm a circus seal. On my orange days, that's how I feel. Green days, deep, deep in the sea. Cool and quiet fish, that's me. On purple days, I'm sad. I groan, I drag my tail, I walk alone. But when my days are happy pink, it's great to jump and just not think. Then comes my black days, mad and loud. I howl, I growl at every cloud. Rawr. Then comes a mix-up day and wham! I don't know who or what I am. But it all turns out all right, you see. And I go back to being me. Well, on different days, you feel differently. Like when it's a cloudy or rainy day, maybe you don't feel so happy. But when the sun comes back out and you see a beautiful rainbow, that might make you feel happy. I love reading this to you. We got a lot of fun things to do today with rainbows. So the next fun thing we're going to do with the rainbow is we're going to do some rainbow and writing. Now we've done rainbow writing in class where we write with each color of the rainbow. This one's a little different. So what you need for this is a picture of a rainbow or you can make your own rainbow. Just take a piece of paper and color red orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple on it. Then you'll have your own rainbow. I put the rainbow on a tray. You could use a cookie sheet, a box, a shoe box, whatever you have at home. Put it on the tray. These are the ones we used to use in class, right? Salt boxes, and we shake that salt and write in it. That's pretty much what we're doing here too. So I poured some salt on here. There's salt that I had just in my kitchen. And now I have salt on my rainbow and I'm going to write on it. Or I could draw a picture or make a flower, but I'm gonna practice my letters. So I'm gonna make the letter A, skyline, grass line, skyline, grass line, just like that. And then across the plain line. Do you see a rainbow under my letter? And then you give it a little shake and you're ready for a new letter. Let me shake that a little bit more. How about this time if I make the letter B? It looks like a B of a rainbow. How pretty that is. Just give it a little shake. That's something fun you could do at home. So you can put a picture of a rainbow inside of a shoe box, on a cooking tray, whatever you have around. Pour some salt and use your fingers to practice writing some letters, 
some numbers, some words, or some beautiful pictures. Can't wait to see what you make. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for a rainbow math. So here's just a little sheet with, this is the beginning of a number sentence on the bottom. So let's try some rainbow math. Let's start out with one red and one blue. So let's make a number sentence. One plus one equals, what does that equal? You know, one, two, two. Good job. Let's try again. How about, let's use two green and one yellow. Our number sentence is two plus one. Now we want to know what we have all together. Two plus one. One, two, plus one more. Three. Two plus one equals three. All right, let's get a little harder. How about one? plus two, one plus two. I start out with one and I add two more. I have one, two, three. That's a great number sentence. One plus two makes three all together. All right, last one. Let's try two blue and two yellow. I know that you're saying that number sentence right out loud to yourself. Ready? Two plus two equals how many all together? Just think about it for a minute. Two plus two equals one, two, three, four. Try something like this. It doesn't have to be on a rainbow, but take some things Make a number sentence for yourself. I'll put a picture of this form on our page. Hi guys, I hope you like doing that math with Miss Franny. I was just thinking of other ways you could do this at home too. You can use whatever food you have at home to do the counting, like beans. I had a bag of beans in my house, so I can put the beans on this math page on the rainbow. Two beans here, and two beans here, and then how many I have all together on the rainbow. Or if you don't have beans, maybe you have some mini marshmallows. You can use those for the math too. Anything you have around your house will work. It's fun to do some counting and adding. Now we're gonna do a little science. I took a paper towel and I cut it. I cut it in half. And then I folded it like this, and I folded it again. And I found two jars. Here's a paper towel that I already folded. These are really from yogurt, but I cleaned them out and I'm using them to do this um, science experiment. I think that Blake's mom gave us a whole bunch of these. So maybe she ate this yogurt and instead of throwing out this container, she recycled it or used it again. And we're gonna use it today to do this. But you can use cups at home. You could use whatever is clear so you could see it. Now I have all that's in these are water, and I'm gonna use some different color food colorings in here. Let's see, what's one of the first colors in the rainbow? Red, I'm gonna put red in this cup. So just a couple drops of red food coloring and water to make it look like it's red. And now in this cup or yogurt cup, I'm gonna add some yellow drops. Uh, if you want, you can mix them up, but you really don't have to. They should be, they should mix up all by themselves. Some yellow, and here's some red. Now, I'm going to put this paper towel in both of the colors, in the red color and in the yellow color. And the colors might inch up onto the paper towel. Let's see what happens. So we'll put this one all the way at the bottom of the red. 
and we'll put this one all the way at the bottom of the yellow and then we'll watch it and see what do you see the colors they're already going up i wonder what happens when they get together if they'll mix and we'll see another color here look at that that's called capillary when something goes way up instead of down usually water goes down but it traveled up with the paper towel all the way up and we can see these colors so if you want to at home you could even do more you could do a blue and a green and you can see all the different colors and if you look real carefully in the middle of the red and the yellow we have orange when we mix red and yellow together we get orange just the first three colors of the rainbow red orange and yellow so now try it again at home. Try um, maybe blue and yellow, see if you make another color, or red and blue, see what color that makes. This is really fun, and it's really quick to do at home. Hope you liked it. We have another fun time experiment, so just wait one more minute, and here comes Miss Franny. I love that last experiment. I just finished drawing just some colors of the rainbow. Okay, I just colored the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And I learned something about light refraction. Watch this, real simple thing to do. I have just a clear glass and some water. And I'm gonna pour this water into the glass. This way, it's a clear glass. So remember, here it is, our rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Now I'm gonna put this rainbow behind the glass of water and see what happens. Can you see the rainbow? But the first color is in red. It flipped. It's like a magic trick. You see that? But look, if I lift it up, the red is over here. And if I put it down, it is the purple. Purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. See the red there? See that? But watch this. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So the water in the cup causes the colors to appear as though they're flipped. Something easy, you could try it at home. Hey guys, I'm trying to make a rainbow appear on this, on this white piece of paper. Do you see any colors there? This is a really easy thing you could do at home and it works out better if it's really dark out. So all I did is I used this, this is called a CD. Uh, we used to use it to listen to music or watch videos. So try and look around at home, see if you have any of these hanging around. And then I took a white piece of paper. You could even tape it to a wall or tape it to something so it stands up by itself and a flashlight. And when you shine the flashlight at the CD, look and see if you can see any colors coming onto your paper. Just move it all around and try and see if you could find that rainbow. I think I see some of those colors. So all you need to do is find a CD, a white piece of paper, and a flashlight. The CD has lots of colors in it already, and it has lots of lines and creases, and this helps move the light around so we see lots of different colors from this. Try it, let us know if it works. Probably will work better when it's a little darker out. Give it a try, and we got one more fun thing you can make too. All right, here's something fun that you can make at home. I took the tube from our paper towels when it was all done, and I made a cut in it. A grown up has to do that part because it's not that easy to do. I started at one side, almost like a rainbow, like an arch, all the way down to the other side. Right behind it, I cut out a little square. And that's where I'm going to look. We'll look right in that little square. Um, I'm gonna put the CD in the slit and I'm gonna look in that little square. Now for the top part, I traced on paper a circle. I cut it out and made a little cut in it and then I just taped it on the top. When I go outside, I'm going to use this and look up at the sky, not directly at the sun, just put it so the CD's on that side where the hole is. I'm gonna look in it. And when I look inside there, oh, I do, I see it inside too. I see a beautiful rainbow in there. I see red 
in orange, in yellow, in green, and all of the colors of the rainbow. So what we just made is called, I wrote the word down here, a spectroscope. And this is like an instrument that's used to split light apart. And when it splits apart, we see different colors in that light. The CD is like kind of like a mirror and all of the tracks or lines around it splits up those colors so that when we look inside, we can see different colors from the light. It separates the colors. I love looking in the spectros spectroscope. I might do it all day long. So give it a try at home. I hope it works. Look for things around your house that you can use to make science too. We did a lot of fun, easy rainbow experiments. But where does a rainbow come from? It's actually pretty easy. A rainbow is formed when light shines through water. So after it rains, the sun comes up, hits the raindrops that are almost gone, but the moisture in the air, and it forms a beautiful rainbow. And a rainbow actually is round. It never hits the ground. But when we see it far away on the horizon, it looks like it stops on the ground. I'm going to read you a story. This is The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carle. He's the author and illustrator. And this book sure has a lot of colors in it. The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carle. It says, dedicated to all the children who have worked with me on this book. So I guess some kids helped him write this one. On a shiny green leaf sat a small green chameleon. It moved onto a brownish tree and turned brownish. And it rested on a red flower and turned reddish. When the chameleon moved slowly across the yellow sand, it turned yellowish and you could hardly see it. When the chameleon was warm and had something to eat, it turned sparkly green. But when it was cold and hungry, it turned gray and dull. When the chameleon was hungry, it sat still and waited. Only its eyes moved up, down, sidewards, until it spotted a fly. Then the chameleon's long and sticky tongue shot out and caught the fly. That was its life. It was not very exciting. But one day, the chameleon saw a zoo. It had never seen so many beautiful animals. Look at all those colors. The chameleon thought, how small I am. How small, how weak. I wish I could be big and white like a polar bear. And the chameleon's wish came true. But was it happy? No. I wish I could be handsome like a flamingo. I wish I could be smart like a fox. I wish I could swim like a fish. I wish I could run like a deer. I wish I could see things from far away like a giraffe. Starting to look a little silly. I wish I could hide in a shell like a turtle. I wish I could be sitting like an elephant. I wish I could be funny like a seal. I wish I could be like people. Just then a fly flew by. The chameleon was very hungry. The chameleon was very mixed up. It was a little of this and a little of that and I couldn't catch the fly. I wish I could be myself. The chameleon's wish came true and it caught the fly. 
Look at the rainbow. The thing about this is the best part about this story is that you learn that the best that you could ever be is just to be you.